In this video, I will give you an overview of the course Talent Advanced. First of all, what version of Talent are we using? We are using Talent Open Studio for Big Data. Uh, currently, it's version 8. Uh, if you're later looking at the course, it may be a newer version. The advantage here is that no license key is required, no paid license. Uh, but also, on the other hand, no, paid fe no features of the paid version uh, will be covered. So please have that in mind. Uh, this course covers intermediate and advanced talent topics. For example, we're going to look at advanced database techniques such as building ELT jobs. Then we're going to look how to connect to certain big data and cloud systems, such as MongoDB or Amazon S3. Another section is going to be all about data type conversions, how to do string handling, how to uh, parse dates, and so on. In another section, we are going to use routines that once that ship with talent, but also here we're starting to add a custom code. So we're going to see how to develop and use your own routines. And for adding a custom code, we are going to see how to add external libraries as well as external components. And before we finish off with use cases, we will also look at performance tuning, how to identify bottlenecks and what not to do uh, in talent jobs. This requires some uh, basic knowledge, so you should be familiar with transformation components such as Tmap or Tfilter, be able to use some variables in your job or build simple job hierarchies, as well as accessing databases, files, and other sources and targets. If you're fine with that, then you're ready to go. Otherwise, I recommend you go to my Talent Basics course first which you will find at this link bit.ly slash talent dash data dash en. In this course, you will learn in a highly practical way. This means I'm including all the examples that I'm showing in the videos, and I recommend you build them all on your own machine and compare with the solutions. At least when you get stuck this way, you can easily compare with what was intended to do. And for all this, I recommend usually you use two screens or one really large screens because then you can watch the video on the one side and on the other side build the jobs yourself because in this way you will get the most out of this course. And although some basic Java knowledge is useful, it is absolutely not mandatory. You will get all the necessary code snippets and also right at the end of the course, you have a summary sheet where you can then download them. Whenever you get stuck, please send me your questions in the q and I'm very responsive there and you also help out your fellow students. So with that said, let's get started.